Hi there. This is Connie Welch with LifeBeyondHepatitisC.com. Wanted to go ahead and give you the uh, video update for week 22. It's been completed of the triple therapy treatment for hepatitis C. I wanted to give you a quick recap on April the 9th of 2012. I began the new triple therapy treatment using the protease inhibitor Incivec along with the PEG uh, interferon and ribavirin. So as of this week, I have completed 22 weeks, and tomorrow I will be on uh, begin my 23rd week. Uh, for me, treatment will end next Sunday, which will be the uh, completion of 24 weeks. So um, I am very excited about that. And um, so I wanted to go ahead and just uh, share with you a little bit of some things that were going on this last week. Uh, really been enjoyed getting to some next mile markers. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I have been taking Procrit injections once a week. Uh, that is a, a shot that I give myself on Thursday night, and that has helped uh, to stimulate my bone marrow to make more red blood cells and to help keep me out of anemia. And it has been very effective for me. And my last blood work had showed that I am not anemic at all right now. So very excited about that because that has worked. So this last week, I took my last Procrit injection, and tomorrow night, I will take the last interferon shot. And wanted to show you very quickly uh, that the interferon pen, um, it's a shot that comes pre-mixed. The medicine is right up here at the top. And, so, and then you would dial the amount, uh, you would pull this out, and then dial the amount that the doctor has prescribed for you. And so uh, you will also, with alcohol swab, uh, you know, wipe the very top of where the needle will go that you will connect on there, and then pull the plunger down in order to get the medicine pre-mixed and that there's no air bubbles here at the top. And uh, just wanted to kind of show you what uh, one of these looks like. This is actually my last shot. So I'm very, very excited about that. So that will happen uh, tomorrow night. And then I will have uh, this last week of taking the ribavirin pills and with finishing up everything on next Sunday, the 23rd. So I'm just so uh, thankful and excited that, you know, we're here at the end. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I have referenced a lot of this treatment to, like, climbing a mountain. So when I talk about the summit, I mean, we're, we're definitely there. It is very, very close uh, to reaching the summit. And I also know that the journey is, is not totally over because then it's the time for recovery and to be able to descend down the mountain. So I'm having to kind of get myself mentally prepared for uh, not, not allowing myself to think just because treatment is finished, I'm going to automatically go back to feeling um, having a lot of energy and doing normal activities right away. Uh, that will come, but I know that I'm going to still, I still have some, a lot of the medicine. It's very strong. It's still in my system, and it's going to take some time. Uh, for my body to recover. So just have to be patient with the process. So um, just kind of looking forward to that this next week. Um, and I wanted to give you an update of just kind of some of the side effects that I've dealt with over this last week. Um, low energy is still a consistent side effect. Um, there are some days and I have had some higher energy and I'm very grateful for that. But um, it's been hard to see a pattern necessarily. Um, it seems like the most consistent thing has been uh, following my shot the two days following, I will definitely deal with low fever and more low energy than normally and muscle aches, uh, some pain, things like that. Um, this last week, I dealt more muscle aches with my legs for some reason and have, helped, have had some issues of um, having some insomnia and a lot of trouble with sleeping. I normally have not had that uh, throughout this whole treatment. Uh, I know that that is one of the side effects, but uh, for me, uh, it has just kind of reared itself uh, at the end. 
So I'm really hoping that this is something that will just cycle out uh, like some of the other side effects as well. Uh, but that is something you just appreciate whatever energy you have when you have it. And if you have to take long naps or whatever you need to do to rest, you just need to do that so you can uh, get beyond where you're at and you get to feeling better. Um, wanted to share with you, one of the big things that I still am dealing with is the dry mouth. Uh, my tongue is still uh, very, very dry, uh, white patches, it's rough, sensitive uh, to food. Um, so I've been using the Biotene, uh, the oral mouth rinse that the doctor said you can buy over the counter. Uh, that has helped because you can use that about five times a day, uh, and that helps replenish the moisture in the mouth. Uh, but it seems like dry eyes, dry nose, um, you know, dry skin, dry hair, just dry everything right now. So just trying to use a lot of different products that would kind of help replenish that moisture. Uh, there's times I just have to even get up in the middle of the night because my eyes are so dry and itchy that I have to go put moisturizing drops in them. And I have to use the biotin in my mouth. But uh, you know what? If you you got to do what you just got to do. Um, so that has been an issue. Uh, hair loss is still something that I'm still losing a lot of hair. Um, I would say, truthfully, I have had probably about 50% of the hair volume loss than what I did uh, when I very first started treatment. Uh, but for somebody who just has not known me, they probably would not really tell a difference because I started out with uh, having a lot of thick hair. But um, it has, I've tried to shampoo less and style less and uh, brush less to try to, um, you know, help that. But, again, in the big picture of things, that's really nothing. Uh, the, the main thing is that the treatment is working and, you know, hair grows back. So I'm not concerned about that. Um, also, I wanted to kind of share with you uh, some of the, the main side effects differences with being on the Incivec part and when you finish the Incivec part. And I just wanted to encourage you because it seemed like, now for my experience, the Incivec part was, it was, it was very difficult. Um, it had a lot of challenges to it. And I would say until I got to that mile marker where I was uh, off the Incivec part, and just remaining on the interferon and ribavirin, it was like a daylight and dark difference for me de dealing with the severity of the side effects. So I still deal with side effects, but it's nothing compared to what it was. So it has gotten tremendously better. And then some of the side effects that I did have with the Incivec, with the uh, rectal and burning itching and things like that, um, have subsided, and I don't deal with that anymore. So uh, that has been a huge relief. And um, so, you know, for some reason, I don't know why this last week, my stomach and colon did decide to act up a little bit. Not totally nauseated, but could tell I was kind of riding the fence a little bit in that. So uh, just had to try to eat some crackers and really try to keep up something on my stomach. Uh, to try to help, and eventually that passed, so that was better. Um, so, you know, just very, very glad about that. Well, that's about it for this week of the um, video update. Stay tuned for the next uh, video, and uh, t check out the website, lifebeyondhepatitisc.com. Uh, there's a big variety of information and resource help on the website. And you can contact me on the website there. And if you would like to ask me any questions or need information or if you'd like to leave a prayer request, uh, please do. And I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. And uh, we'll get right back to you. So um, just I hope you have a really good week. And I hope that um, you are having success in your treatment. And look forward to sharing uh, this next week with you. So talk to you soon. Uh, God bless.